lot of love and respect for the backpack. It is a really quality mobile carrying device. This is an interesting description for it. If you're a student, you obviously wanna be able to have a lot of the things that you need on campus for lectures and also to just to get work done. But as someone who's now out of school, backpacks also present a really great opportunity to have mobile offices at coffee shops and park benches and anywhere really that's not my couch. And that's all thanks to backpacks. So I feel like they deserve a two second moment of silence to appreciate them. Okay, moment over, let's get into it. This right here is my current backpack. It is yet another matinette. It looks tiny and slim, but I love how simple and minimalist this bag is. It's black, so it can work for all seasons, but it holds quite a bit within it, as you're going to see. Both of my previous two What's In My Backpack videos included matte and nat bags, and the reason I love these bags so much is because not only are they beautiful vegan leather bags, but they also have a lot of longevity to them. All of the bags, whether they're backpacks or just purses that I've gotten from Matt and Nat over the years still look like brand new, despite the fact that here in Canada, we have lots of different types of weather. Our winters are terrifying. Summers are very hot and humid. There's rainy seasons and they just look incredible still. For a student, I definitely could see how they can be a little bit more on the pricier side, but I would look out for sales that they have, I think semi-annually. And also I got this bag at Marshall's, so it was heavily discounted. So check out your local winners, Marshall's, that kind of store at TJ Maxx, I think in the States. See if maybe you'll get lucky and find one because they are definitely, I feel like worth the investment if you want a bag that's gonna last long-term. Another backpack recommendation is the one that I included in my what's in my carry-on video last year when I went to Portugal. I think it's a perfect bag for commuters especially. I use it every time I make the trip from my hometown to Toronto. There's a middle compartment that is meant for clothes so if you go to the gym you can just toss in your clothes and your runners in there but if you don't go to the gym it's just a really great way of organizing your bag and keeping things separated it will be linked below as well as links to anything that I mentioned in today's video that I can find links for so be sure to check out that description box so let's enter into this beautiful baby the first thing in my bag usually is always my glasses I don't have to wear them often I just need them for distance so when I was in class and the the chalkboard or the whiteboard was too far away I usually have to slip on some glasses. My vision isn't that bad though, so hoping it stays that way, but this is what they look like on. And taking them off. Over the years, I've definitely expressed my gratitude to pouches for keeping my bags organized. And this right here is probably my favorite pouch ever. This is a tech organizer by a company called Native Union. I saw this one day at Indigo and I could not leave the store without it. I like how compact it is, but mostly what I love is the inside. Because as you can see, there's a spot for everything that I need. I cannot stress enough how much this just makes me salivate. <laughs> as a disturbing visual. You open it up and you can see everything and nothing like really moves around. It's perfect. On this side, I like to store my AirPods and I have this and my Apple Pencil in these really beautiful silicone cases. I always get questions about them. They're from Amazon and they cost like, I think less than 10 bucks each. They look great, but they also add that little extra comforting layer of protection. Next to it, I just have a power bank for charging mostly my phone. On this side, I have my laptop charger, which as you can tell by the yellow cord, my laptop charger has been around for a while. And then behind that is a pocket that actually holds my hard drive. I know the topic of hard drives is not as sexy of a topic as pouches, but I do want to take a second to just kind of obsess over this little guy right here. This is a solid state portable hard drive from Samsung, and I love the fact that it is so super tiny. So if you're a student who likes to back up your files a lot or you work off of a hard drive, this is really convenient because it doesn't add a lot of weight or space in your backpack. I think I've had this for about a year now. I edit all of my videos off of it and it hasn't failed me once. So this is great because when you are at your workstation or at class, you can just kind of like lay this out and everything looks super neat. And then when you're done, ooh, look at that closing action. I love how compact it is too. And it doesn't feel like it's crushing the things within it. This bag is just, oh, giving me life. The next thing I have in here is a bento box. And this is from the brand Ever Eco. I have to admit, I'm not always great at remembering to do this, but um, this is a really awesome option if you wanna have something that allows you to carry food with you on the go, but isn't gonna take up too much room. I also love the Takenaka 
bento box I showed in a back to school lunches video, I think a couple years back. This one's a bit tinier though, so if you have limited space, it's a great option. And we move on to yet another pouch. This one's from the brand Herschel. It's technically supposed to just be a normal pencil case, but I use it as an emergency kit. This has been a feature in all of my backpacks since high school, I think. I believe Herschel is also a Canadian company like Matt and Nat, so go Canada, woo woo. This is what it looks like inside and believe it or not, there are more pouches. How did I manage to do it? I don't know. This first little pouch from Paper Chase holds just a couple hair ties, nothing too crazy, but I like having them in a pouch because it just makes it easy to find them. It's so cute too. Oh. This other pouch is also from Paper Chase and it holds my emergency tampons and panty liners. So in case you didn't know what a panty liner looks like or a tampon, that's that. This fits two panty liners, two tampons. I could probably squeeze in a third. And I love it, not because it disguises my menstrual products. I mean, at the end of the day, women menstruate, nothing to really hide there. But I like the fact that because these are products that I'm gonna be using in an intimate area, they stay clean because they got their own little home. My last mini pouch within my big pouch is this one from Muji. It is clear and perfect for holding the diffusers I like to take with me. The diffusers, the essential oils I like to take with me on the go. Just in case they spill, it kind of contains the spill, but I haven't had that happen yet. And the two that I always have with me are Peppermint Halo, which I talked about last year as one of my favorite things for headaches. Whenever I get a headache, I put a little bit on the back of my neck and on my temples, and I feel like that helps a lot. I sometimes also sniff it if I need to like a little wake up uh, and I can't justify having yet another coffee. But the one that I've really become obsessed with this year is Immune, and this is a germ and virus fighting remedy. During flu season this year, I would just like put some on my hands, rub it together, breathe it in, and just hope that I wouldn't get sick from all the people that were coughing around me in class. Classrooms are just always filled with germs. But like, ah, oh, more cuteness. Look at that. Oh. If this isn't satisfying to you, I don't know what kind of human you are. Probably a normal one, to be honest. <laughs> I also like to have Advil, both for me and for whenever someone's like, hey, does anyone have Advil? And I can say yes. Yes, I do. Floss for getting stuff out of my teeth when I eat. I've got a roller ball of Daisy by Marc Jacobs and a Tide to Go stick. I feel like perfume and stain remover are just necessary things to have in any emergency kit. And the last item that I have is my new favorite skincare item. It is called the My Matcha All Over Moisture Stick by the company Coco Kind. Coco Kind has quickly become one of my top skincare brands lately. I use this particular one as a lip balm and it just keeps my lips nice and moisturized throughout the day. But you could also use this on dry areas on your face or under your eyes. I have another stick in my bathroom that I use for any application on my face. I also love the fact that it's a bit of a cleaner product. Highly, highly recommend trying it out if you come across it. Not a huge shocker, but I also have my laptop in my backpack. Now this next item is something that I actually bought super recently. It was absolutely an impulse purchase, but I feel like it was a really good one, so it's fine. And it is a water bottle. This is from the company Memo Bottle. And hopefully you can tell why I was captivated by it because it is not only slim, but it is perfectly clear. Blends in with the background. Where's my water bottle? I don't know. That was a stupid joke. I love the fact that it doesn't take up much space at all when it's in your bag filled with water but I also really love the fact that it, when it's not filled with water, it's practically weightless. So there really isn't any reason not to bring it with me whenever I am taking my backpack with me because then if I come across a water station or I get thirsty throughout the day and wanna grab water from a restaurant and have them fill it up, I have something to carry my agua in. It also looks really cute laying down on the table. I definitely wouldn't have bought this water bottle if I didn't already have water bottles that are a little bit more practical, but I definitely thought it was worth sharing in case any of you want to carry water with you throughout the day, but don't have much room left in that backpack of yours. This might be a great fit for you. Of course, what's a backpack without a pencil case? And this is a slim pencil case that I have shown before. Uh, again, it is from the company Matt and Nat. And inside of it, I have a highlighter, mechanical pencil, another highlighter, and some pens from Muji. I like the 0.38 size gel pens the best. And there's also room for the mini stapler that is also from Muji that I showed off last year. This year, I finally had the moment where I was able to pull this out when someone asked if anyone happened to have a stapler and it felt really good. 
Although I'm pretty sure that's the only time it got used. So arguably not necessary to carry around all the time. And within this bag, there's also two built-in pouches, one for your cell phone, which I always usually have with me too. But in the zippered compartment, I keep two pretty new additions to my bag. The first item is a reusable straw. And I really like this item because it can expand and also shrink. Like you can change the size of the straw depending on what thing you're sipping from. I love this one from Zoku because it comes in a case that keeps your straw clean when you're not using it and also gives you a place to put your straw when you're done using it and there's liquid on it. As much as I love iced coffee, I don't want little droplets of iced coffee ending up anywhere. So this is a great solution. I'm really trying to get better at not using those shopping bags that stores give you the plastic ones when you buy something. But I've been running into the issue that sometimes when I'm on the go, I don't have a bag with me because I didn't anticipate that I was gonna do any shopping. So this is really great because it's a reusable shopping bag that folds into basically nothing. And whenever I need a shopping bag, I can just, oop, that didn't work out very well. I can just take it out of its pouch and I got a shopping bag. It's also really cute. I love the color and the design on it. Again, this was another purchase that I made at Indigo. I also don't find it too hard to fold up either, which I really appreciate because I think the whole convenience element of this comes from the fact that you can fold it up, put it in this little pouch, and then it's ready to go for the next shopping trip. The last item in here actually comes from this zipper right here. This is where I store my wallet. Obviously, it's always a good idea to have your cards and your identification on hand. I also have my air miles card because I am obsessed with collecting air miles right now. Presto card for the subway. That about wraps up my updated what's in my backpack video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss videos here on this channel. And let me know in the comment section down below what is your number one backpack essential. I always love talking about organization things, so organization on the go within a backpack, it's a fun time. Also let me know what other back to school videos you want to see and I will see you all very soon with a new video. Until then, bye everyone. They even feel great. Oh, jeez.